Want to get as much out of your Horizon Zero Dawn experience as possible? Well, I got some Horizon Zero Dawn tips for you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to hit the like button. You will find a ton of loot in Horizon Zero Dawn. Modifications for your weapons, resources to craft potions or arrows and items that you can simply sell for money. It sucks though that if you kill a machine, and you simply can't loot him because your inventory is full. So that's why it's important to directly craft as much upgrades for your inventory as possible. And this is really where the comparison with Far Cry comes from. You need to do that by killing wildlife, boars, foxes, etc. They're all needed to carry more items. So tip one should be every time you see wildlife, simply kill them. You will always find use for them. But an even better tip is to go to this spot on the map. Be careful because there are some snap jaw close by, but if you just ignore the water, you should be fine. This spot can be reached really soon in the game. Wildlife is the most common in places where no machines are found. Pretty logic because the machines will otherwise kill the wildlife. Anyway, this spot here on the map is the best to farm wildlife early in the game. Every time you think you got them all, a new bunny or fox will appear. It's the best to go in stealth mode so the enemies will simply not run away and are easily killed. Oh, and you get plus 25 XP for the stealth kill. Yes. <laughs> also, tag the enemies since they can be hard to see in the grass and that will just help because you see some icon there. Stay here for like 10 minutes, kill all these animals and trust me, you'll be happy throughout the whole game that you did. It's good to stay here and get at least one fox skin and 10 fatty meat before you move on. So this could be longer than 10 minutes, but if you're lucky you will get it earlier. Because if you do this, they will be able to buy something that is simply amazing. The golden fast travel pack. The world in Horizon Zero Dawn is huge, so being able to fast travel is pretty nice. You can simply buy regular fast travel packs, but that's like buying batteries. When you're out of them, you have to buy them again and again. You can better buy chargeable ones. And the same goes for the fast travel packs, so you get it? Uh, if you get a fox skin and 10 fatty mid from the wildlife as well, you can buy this golden fast travel kit and just go wherever you want without having to worry. And trust me, this is super handy. You can't get the golden fast travel pack everywhere early on though, but it's pretty close to the spot where you were farming. So if you see this vendor here, there was the spot, so it's pretty close. When you level up in Horizon Zero Dawn, you will get a skill point, but you will also get that by completing main missions and side activities. Of course, just enhance Aloy the way you want, but personally I think there are some handy skills that will make your journey easier if you choose them first. Let's start with Knockdown. If you knock down an enemy, you will be able to follow up with a critical hit. Also choose that skill as soon as you can. When the enemy is down, you can also override them so they can fight for you. Plus. Obviously, when the machine is down, they simply are not able to do anything, which is pretty handy when fighting multiple enemies. With the knockdown skill, you can knock down larger enemies. So, in the beginning of the game, you will be fine with just your simple knockdown. But when you go later on, when you fight bigger monsters, it's super handy to be able to knock them down as well. For example, if you fight multiple enemies, then you can knock down one, focus on the other, while the other is down and can do anything or stuff like that. So. Choose the knockdown skill, it's really nice. Then another skill that I unlocked right away, the Thinker. Like I already said, you're able to upgrade your armor and weapons with modifications that you can find throughout the game, most likely by killing huge machines. If you mod a weapon though, the modification is stuck on that weapon. So early on, when you get a new bow soon or new armor, then you will need to find new modifications, which really sucks. The Vinker changes this and that is why I unlock this right away so you, then you can just switch your mods out whenever you want so you don't lose them. So when you then get a new armor you can also use the mods that you had on your previous armor and the other way around with weapons as well. So that's super nice, something I got early on because I thought I don't want to lose my mods that I just got. I think it's handy. Speaking of getting new weapons and armor, this little and super handy feature was also in my video about awesome things you didn't know about Horizon Zero Dawn. Go watch that for other things as well. But now this tip is about creating jobs for items that you want. For example, I want this outfit, but I don't have the requirements yet. Then the game will tell you where to get those requirements. It will simply mark it on the map so you can just go and get it. It's a super nice feature. Those are my tips to enhance your Horizon Zero Dawn experience. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe for way more Horizon Zero Dawn content. Got a ton of stuff up on the channel and we'll be covering this game 
really, really much. So be sure to subscribe. Like the video if you did, and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.